Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about my board game that I know you guys are going to be creating, which was so fun for me to create. I just wanted to let you guys know that because that was awesome to create. Um, so I made a version of Clue. If you've ever played Clue, you know that it kind of looks like this. It's kind of big, so I'm kind of having to like lean back just to show you guys. It's massive. Um, so. The game's story is kind of like it's missing objects. Uh, I have to grab my stuff. Um, so it's kind of like a missing objects game. It isn't fully Clue because, well, you're supposed to kind of do what inspires you, and Clue kind of is a game I really like. And I kind of like watching stuff like just kind of stuff that are like Clue. So I changed it up a little bit. And so I have um, some stuff in here that they could have took the people the um the um rooms so let's just so i just kind of did all that i have my dice which i'm going to explain later i'm going to explain how i made all of this so oh i'm sorry um so ex the explanation of the characters here are all my characters these are the character pieces um, I made 14 characters. You don't have to make 14. Trust me. 5 is enough. 6 is enough. I just made 14 because I'm like, well, you know. You have to have a lot of, well, what if you're having, like, a game night or something. There's a lot of you. Um, but also because with all these cards that I made, I, um, was, sorry guys, I have to find all the characters. I was, um had a li like I passed them out to like enough for my family and the you know clue you have to have enough um cards that there could still be three in an envelope which I have the envelope sorry guys I'm not looking at you guys because I'm in the middle of <laughs> organizing everything nice right so I have all 14 characters uh, as you see there's a bunch of dots on there that are colorful if you can tell so I would just explain this. So this is Jerry. He's like a magenta-y color. So let's see if I can find the magenta. Ah. So it's not as good as the magenta because I had to make the magenta color. But it matches. So that's how I determine. And for white, I just wrote white. And then I made Jack white. Um. So now I'm going to explain how I exactly did it. So basically, I just wrote, so I took a whole piece of paper and I cut out a bunch of tiny squares for like rooms and everything and then I had the people. So then I just painted a bottle cap and just put the color there. Um, then I, um, you know, did that with the rest of them and that's how I kind of got those colors. That was not white. I actually put the wrong color. Looked white. Um, but anyways, so those are the characters. Now, uh, the rules. So what you do, you take a character and you guys have it on wherever, you know, you move. Uh, you roll the dice. Um, that will also be showing you. Uh, however many you move. Um, so if you come in here. Detectives launch, you know, I would just say sheriff's office since it's a lot easier for you guys to see So I'm at the sheriff's office. Uh, I want to accuse Hmm Annie for taking um, oops, 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 oops Annie for taking um The donut. I don't know. Whatever you think it is Then like normal clue you kind of ask somebody hey, do you have any of these? You have the room, the thing that was taken, and the person. So the room, by the way, guys, is where that object was left. So, like, let's say I took a donut and I left it in the detective's lounge. Nobody knows who it is. Nobody knows what room. Nobody knows, like, anything about it. That's the point of clue. So you're just supposed to go around and figure that out. Um. Then, now I'm going to show you my board game pieces. So I just made an envelope out of paper simple um i took a trifold if you don't know what those are it's kind of like it's 
actually this way and then it folds up. But I just cut off the folds and made it into this. <laughs> you guys can't really see me because it's so massive. Um, then I just cut out papers like I said, did the dots, took bottle caps, painted on them the colors. It's really what I did with those, I already told you guys. Um, then I just kind of wrote on them, like, rooms, what were taken, you know. Excuse me. Um, then on the back of them I wrote station because it's, I'm calling it station because it's a police station, but instead of writing police station, I did station. So, now, I made, um, so, now I made some dice out of bottle caps. So, what I did is I used hot glue, so make sure that you guys, if you use hot glue, have a parent help you with that, because, trust me, you could get burned really bad, and that won't be good. So, like, I had my mom with me, just to make sure that I'm not going to hurt myself. Um... So I just took the ball caps, I did the dots, like normal dice do, like one, uh, where's two? Gotta find two. Two, three, nope, that's five, you know, like those. So I made two of them. So basically when you roll them, they actually roll. And then, so I just got six and one. But, so I hot glued each one together to hope that they would actually roll, and they did. So they actually rolled, which was really good. So I just kind of went around my house. I know that my family likes to drink a lot of water. So I just, you know, actually did it. So I'm going to show you how my game is actually played really fast. Um, so I just rolled the dice. Oops. Technically, I would roll it on the board. So let me do that really fast because it's a lot easier. So I got a 6 and a 5, so that's 11, if you did not know that, straight away, because, you know. So I'll go from wherever I'm starting, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Just pretend that I'm like, ooh, I have a guess already. So let's say it's the sheriff's office, the candle, and it's Annie, right? Yeah, Annie, let's just say Annie, Okay. So they're in that little envelope, and I go in, and I say, I think it's Annie, the sheriff's office, and the candle. Then I, then somebody hands me the envelope. You don't make a face. You don't do anything. If you're wrong about one thing, you just say, I'm out, because you're out of the game, and let everybody else play. If you got everything right, you go, I'm right. If you get one thing wrong, two things wrong, or the whole thing wrong. Don't say anything. Don't do anything, because that gives people hints. Don't say, oh, I got one thing wrong. I mean, sometimes I do on accident because I don't think it through very well. But that kind of helps people know that one thing's at least right. Or like two things or however many. So that's really all that I have for my board game. I hope you guys really enjoy making your board game and do something that inspires you guys. Like I did Clue because I love Clue. So hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys get some good board games going because that that could be really fun to do right now. So, um, thank you guys. So, I hope you guys have fun. Bye.